And now, and now, now. get ready, 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 ready for the most, 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 most exciting, 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 thrilling, 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 adventurous, long, 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 your life. life. I'm up bright and early, very early. But unlike the video from last Monday, I didn't get up at 5.30. No, 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 no. I got up at 6 a.m. this morning to be ready by 7.30 to go to Haskell, to go to Modern Way in Haskell to do some grocery shopping because of the impending uh, truck uh, delivery shortage and all that's going on with all that nonsense and all that stuff that's going on. I'm not taking a chance because if there's going to be a strike, I'm going to make sure that I am fully prepared and stocked with groceries so that I'm not, you know, that I don't do without. And I encourage you all to do that in your town, in your area, in your city, to prepare for the absolute worst. I ain't saying the worst is going to come, but just be ready, just be prepared. And one of the world's, one of the world's greatest sayings that I've always gone by is it's always to be better to be ready sorry, or it's always better to be prepared than left behind. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing this morning. I'm going to be bringing you guys along. Yeah, I'm going to get better. I'm getting better at this vlogging thing. I'm getting better at this, and I'm going to make this um, as frequently as humanly possible. But with that being said, it's just about 7.30 now. My ride's about to come and pick me up. And the next step will be at Barker and Way, Modern Way in Haskell. So I will see you guys there. Yeah! Let's do this. We have arrived. Guys, yeah, this is a real treat. I have not shopped in the store in years. I mean, there's so many memories. So awesome. Guys, that was a treat. That was a serious, serious treat. I have not shopped in this store in many, many years. And it brought back so many memories. There's a few sad moments because uh, me and my mom used to shop in here a lot. But hey, you know. It's all right. It's it was it was it was good. It was a good it was a good moment. It was a good experience, and uh, that was a treat. And the best thing is, I got recognized by a bunch of teenage boys. They're like, "Hey, we're huge fans. Can we can we take a picture with you?" And and they did. And <laughs> man, that just made my day. It always makes my day when I run into my fans and they want pictures or autographs. Or um, you know things like that. I mean, it, it, it's 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 a thrill. It's it makes my day. It makes my day that much better and that much more special. So, all right, here it is. Here in a little while, when everybody's done, we're gonna head home, and I'm gonna unpack, and I got a lot of things I gotta get done. But yeah. <sighs> that was good. Ow! Baby! Yeah! Woohoo!
I am back. I am back from the modern way in Haskell trip. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Brought back so many memories. Walking in that store that I have not walked in in a few years. When I mean a few years, I mean a few years. So much of that store. It just reminds me of old times. But that's okay. We cannot grieve over the past. We cannot let memories bring us down or bring us sadness. We need to use memories like this to bring us up, to lift us up to what once was, and to cherish and to hold on to those memories forever in our hearts while we are alive in this world. So there were some sad moments, but there were some also some amazing moments because it brought back so many memories that I will forever cherish being in that store with my mom and my brother and the and you know just living life as we did back then as I did back then it was just uh, it was so so good and you would think man this is all cheesy I mean he's <laughs> he's getting all emotional about a grocery store in Haskell well Hey, man, it was a trigger. It was a happy trigger, and it was good. It was really, really, really good. And, oh, and, as you can see, the snow has all melted, and it's gone away. It looks normal out here again. And the weather is going to get up to 67 degrees. You can't beat that. Ha, ha, ha. But I do hear this upcoming Wednesday, February 16th, the snow and the wintry mix is coming back. That sucks. But that's okay. Mother Nature, get it out of your system. Mother Nature, just get it out and get it going. Because my season, summer, is on the way. So... It's still winter, still early February. It's only a, today, the 11th of February, so it's still early. But it's okay. Just like I mentioned in the last clip, summer is coming. My season, my season is coming. And let me remind you guys again, I got some merchandise coming. I got keychains. I got posters. I got stickers. I got 8 by 10s I got a lot of things coming. A lot of things ordered, a lot of things on the horizon, either for an early spring release or a summer release. You do not want to miss it at all. Trust me. Trust me. So, with that being said, subscribe to this channel. Things. Big. Big. Things. It's on the horizon. And it's coming. You do not want to miss. Subscribe. Click on that notification bell so you do not miss another episode. And please, like. Give this video a thumbs up. It helps out tremendously. I'm going to have my Patreon back. Guys, it's going to get really, really good. So with that being said, Thank you for tuning in to episode 11 of the vlog. And I will see you guys next time. Yeah!